Hi, my name is Patrick Cunningham. Uh, I'm a licensed acupuncturist in the Boston area, and this is a short video on type 2 spinal biomechanics. In type 2 spinal biomechanics, rotation and side bending are coupled to the same side. And this is active throughout the spine uh, in most places, um, but it's particularly, it's the only way that the spine can move from C3 to C7. And so, um, what happens is, if this is a transverse process, and this is a transverse process, when I rotate to the right, I side bend to the right. When I rotate to the left, I side bend to the left. In type 1's spinal biomechanics, rotation and side bending are coupled to the opposite side. This happens at the occipital lateral junction, for example, where if I look, if I look up like this, I'm rotating to the right and I'm side bending to the left and if I look this way I'm rotating to the left and side bending to the right. Um, this can also happen in the thoracic spine and lumbar spine um, and also in the cervical spine in scoliosis where we have uh, side bending to the left, rotation to the right, side bending to the right, rotation to the left. But in type 2 biomechanics in the cervical spine um, C3 to C7, if we rotate to the right, we're going to side bend to the right. If we rotate to the left, we're going to side bend to the left. So here's a cervical spine, and this is C1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. So we'll be working on C6 on C7. And so here's the left facet joints, upper facet, lower facet, and the right facet joints, upper and lower. Now, if we had a vertebrae and we moved it into flexion, in flexion, the facets open. If we move it into extension, the facets are going to close. And if a vertebrae is working properly, then the facets will open, and they will, not that much, they'll open and they'll close in a nice, smooth manner. Now, if we have a vertebrae, we have a vertebral segment, C6 and C7, and the vertebrae are opening properly so that we have a nice open facet joints, uh, C6 and C7, like this. And then we start to close. If we get to a point of neutral and the vertebrae on top starts to rotate to the right and side bend to the right, what we'll have is we'll have a facet on the right-hand side which is closed, and a facet on the left-hand side, which is open, and the vertebrae in question will be rotated to the right, the spinous process left, and it will be side-bent to the right. In other words, this facet will be closed, and the facet on the other side, on the left, will be open. The transverse process on the right will be posterior, the transverse process on the left will be anterior, and the spinous process will be sticking out to the left because the body is rotated to the right. Now here, what's happened is the right facet has closed properly, but the left facet is not closed. So when you have a right rotation and a right side bending, type 2 motion, the facet on the opposite side to the rotation and side bend is not closing properly. So we want to move the soft tissue in such a way as to close this facet and we can balance it out by moving the soft tissue from inferior to superior on this side and then when we can get that facet to close on the left then this rotation will come back uh, from right rotation and right side bend to the center and then this facet here closing uh, facilitates that process. Now, if we were to have a vertebrae that was closing properly and everything was lined up, and then we went into flexion, and when we started to go into flexion, we would start to get right side bending and right rotation in neutral. Then we went further into flexion, and it got worse. Now we're all the way in flexion, but the left side is opening, and the right side is still closed. In this case, it's different because 
we're trying to go into flexion. So we're looking for the facets to open. So in this case, we have the spinous process again to the left because the body's rotated right. We have a closed facet on the right side. We have an open facet on the left side. But in this case, the problem is that the right facet won't open in order to facilitate flexion. So in this case, we want to move that right facet open like this. And when we do move it open, that right rotation will come back to neutral and the right facet will open up and we'll again we'll have a balanced vertebrae um, with facets open on the right and the left. So this is type 2 motion um, in the cervical spine.